grocery to meet up with Howard Schultz. Howard Schultz. All right, and what are you excited about for this part? I mean, this is the most important Starbucks store in the world to him. Uh, what he regards as the most beautiful Starbucks location. Milan is where he got his inspiration to create the Starbucks and build it into what it is today. And this is his kind of last big trip uh, here as head of Starbucks before he retires here in the next few months. And he's having a, a big party tonight. And we have a front row seat to all of this. We are at uh, Howard Schultz's uh, party. I can tell, you know, it's high stress on his team. So we're going to try and get some interviews. Otherwise, stay out of the way because we don't want to piss anybody off. And so, yeah. Who's the, uh, you can be on the Hush Hush, this is a secret still, but you know, musical guest, I'm looking forward to that. Lizzo. I want to thank every barista for making my coffee every single morning. You have made my life better. Thank you so much. The face of impatience. I know. Talk to him. So uh, first, how, how was uh, this received? You know, the it was such a magical night, a night that you could have so much excitement, so much goodwill. But the hero of the night was the beverages. All right, Graham, what did you just have? I had one of our new drinks, and it was really, really good. I don't believe you. Let me smell your breath. <laughs> it does smell good. <laughs> Graham, how'd today go? It went pretty well. How do yeah. you think it went? I think it went pretty well. I, the part I least liked was stalking Howard at the end of the night. Yeah. You know, like when... That's what you do, though. You know that he knows you're there, and you know that he knows that he doesn't really want to uh -huh. talk to you, but he's reluctantly going to. That was one of those situations. But I felt like we had to do it right. To yo, yo, we for sure had to. Yeah, without yeah. a doubt. Tell me what's coming up next with Howard. Next is going to Seattle. Seattle. We're in Pike's Place Market, famous Pike's Place Market, where the original Starbucks is, right down this way. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make our way, get some awesome B-roll of Seattle here, and then you're about to wait in this line to get in, because I don't know if our cameras can get inside. I think Carlos had an idea. <laughs> well, I'm aware he has an idea. That'd be cool, honestly, I would not be mad. Like you hop out your window into your boat. <laughs> also based out of, and uh, it's about seven minutes before eight on a Friday morning. And we're getting ready to sit down with Howard to spend part two of our taping with him. We were first with him in Italy, and now we are here. Is there anything you're nervous about? Yeah, I mean, a whole host of things. And probably is, now is not the best time. What about you? What, what about me? Is there anything I'm nervous about? Yeah. I'm nervous that my my uh, boss might might be too nervous. Well, it's not good, Mike. It's like my socks coming out. There it is. Yeah. Hello, everybody. We only have three. Good morning. Can touch a yeah. Yeah. Right at time. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry for the confusion on the schedule, but I've been all over the world. Oh, please, no yeah. problem at all. Thanks for being in Seattle and. It's a long way from Milan, but here we are. <laughs> by, by the way, uh, do you remember any recollection of how long I've been working on this? <laughs> I know that you have been tracking us and tracking me for a number of years, and I, I must say your tenacity has paid off. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy it very much. Mr. Schultz, you just got done interviewing 
Graham. Uh, is there anything that's different than the normal interview you've done? Sure. I think Graham did a great job. Uh, certainly, uh, Graham and his team did a lot of work in preparation for this. Surprised me with a number of stories that I wouldn't have expected he knew about. The Tom Inzo clip was fantastic. How come when Mariucci and I were trying to get that eeny beeny one little franchise of Starbucks, you could never work it out for us? And then Magic came along and you worked it out for him. Oh, that's bull****. But it was a very uh, a good experience, and uh, I think he did a really good job. I enjoyed it. You asked the first question, and she said, shut this down right after I said to the no unions. I wanted to touch on the union sure. stuff. Oftentimes when there are two sides to a story, the yeah. truth is generally somewhere in between. What criticism, if any, do you think is fair? <sighs> the, we need a lot more time to answer that question. <laughs> and I think I'm getting a high sign here that we need to stop. Oh, okay. Do we? Okay. Okay. So we, we were stressing out because they interrupted the interview twice, once when we were talking about China and the other time when we were talking about Union, and uh, then we were told they told us not to cover that, and you know, your word is all you have, and your reputation is all you got, and so I was finding myself really worked up at the end because I'm like, how could there have been this miscommunication? Because if somebody tells us not to cover something that we want to cover, um, we just address it with them, and then you end up being able to cover it, and they have a uh, heads up. And to the best of my knowledge, there was none of that here. So, yeah, so, I mean, I scanned e through emails. Uh, you know, something might have been said word of mouth. There were a couple of Zoom calls. I can't remember exactly. I was on those. But Zoom. Graham was on yeah, those, right. Uh, not so there. nothing in my email indicates that unions or labor or any kind of the key buzzwords that were going to be potentially controversial were, were discussed or mentioned in any any. So that makes me feel better. In the moment when Graham was asking me about it, I didn't know for sure because I didn't want to say and promise anything that wasn't true. I just had to go back and dive through my emails. So um, Mario asked where we're headed now. We are now headed to the Starbucks. We are now headed to the Starbucks Support Center, which is kind of their HQ here in Seattle. Um, Howard is going to show Mario's us around as, us as Mario just... I mean, some of these streets are tricky. Um, hey, don't, don't defend Mario. Okay. Well, Mario's been nice. Um, but yeah, Starbucks HQ, Howard's going to show us around a little bit, um, give us a kind of peek at some of the stuff they have going on there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> are we not moving? No, we are. Is that a new thing? Uh, sometimes. Really? Believe it or not, we had some protests growing about the fact that the sirens' breasts were bare, <laughs> and we had some issues that we had to cover it, believe it or not. So that's... That's the reason for the hair over the breast. Good. Yeah, nice. Fun. Very refreshing. You guys want to taste it? I know you've got cameras. Thank you. Really cool to see the atmosphere here. Um, I mean, it's just, it's the whole building Starbucks, right? So, a lot of workers. A lot of you know testing labs, things like that that we got a peek at earlier. I mean, Howard showed us around, which was cool. Talked to some other people that you know we were into along the way. Obviously, Howard's a big deal. Everybody knows who he is. This is only like the second time he's been in this building since he retired as uh, CEO. So you know, it's kind of just people might not expect to see him necessarily, and he pops in, and, and it's pretty cool to see the workers react. So we are done for the day, and we're now trying to figure out where to shoot the podcast. Dude, it's killing them with the violin. It's really good. Thank you.